Hi everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 4. I finished the scarf and here it is. Isn't it beautiful? It's it's bulky 6, so it's really warm and really soft. And I added a wooden button in the heart shape. So that way, you, if you wore it like this under your jacket or after when you took your jacket off, it would, I forgot to turn off an airplane mode, so there's going to be dings tonight. Anyway, so um, you can, if you add one of these and you do it where it's actually, you use the, the holes in the pattern for your buttonholes, then you don't have to do it, button it the same way I do. And you don't have to um, even button it. You can just wear it as a regular scarf, fold it whatever way you want. But <clears throat> I used the pattern for this. I did it actually just the way that she did her pattern. And it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux, and it's the sugar cookie. I'll link that below for you. So that's my finished item for the day. And um, if you didn't remember, it was the Copenhagen by Loops and Threads. You can find this yarn at Michael's. I don't know whether or not they have this colorway anymore. This is called the Tea Cozy colorway. But um, that's what it is if you are interested in that. So I'm excited because I um, ordered a bunch of stuff from Hershner's on Black Friday and it came in. So grab a cup because we've got some yarn to look at. And um, one of the things that I decided to do was uh, over on my Facebook group, there is almost 300 members. And I'm like, 300 members? Okay, well guess I'll do a flash giveaway. So in celebration of 300 members, I've decided to do a 24-hour flash giveaway, which means that Thursday evening it will be drawn. I'm going to give a, I'm going, well actually it's not the whole entire box, but it is yarn from Knit Crate. Earlier in the summer, we got Knitology Glowing Worsted in the colorway Flying Trapeze. It's really, really soft. It is made up of 40% Superwash Merino, 30% Silk, and 30% Alpaca. Oh, it's lovely. I made a beautiful cowl out of this uh, earlier in the year. And... Uh, it came out really, really soft. It's nice. I probably should have brought it in here and showed it. I don't think it sold yet. I, I might be mistaken. There was a bunch of things that sold um, at one of the craft fairs, and I don't think this did. If it didn't, it will be in my Etsy shop, which I always link below, too. You get two of these Hanks in the 24-hour flash giveaway. And um, you also get the booklet that was given that month. And this was the July booklet. Um, I don't recall what else was in there, if anything, but um, the yarn is what we're here for, ladies. So, <laughs> or, or a gentleman. Okay, so let's see. If you want me to look real quick, if I can find the patterns real quick, there was a hand warmer pattern. And this one was a knitted one. And this is the cow that I made. I did it in the green, in the trapeze color. But that is a crocheted cowl that I also um, used and made from this booklet. Farther in the book, there is a knitted sock pattern. If you know how to knit, you'll get that. And um, the only other rules is you need to go to my Facebook page, find the post 
do what the post says and um, you have to have a US address and then there is a crocheted slipper pattern in here as well I did not do that one I probably should have but I think I have two of these booklets maybe maybe not I, I'll look so that was the give the 24-hour giveaway on my Facebook page be sure and go and enter in that okay and then earlier today I did get a chance to put up the December <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> the December uh, show and tell um, it's on my Facebook page it runs through the month of December <clears throat> you make an item from yarn out of knitting uh, <clears throat> got a frog <clears throat> Frogs are not allowed. <laughs> um, let's see. You make something out of yarn. I don't care if it's plastic canvas, knit, knitted, loom knitted. It doesn't matter. As long as it was made, some of it was in November, some of it in December of this year. Um, post your picture of it. And um, I'll enter you into the drawing. And I ordered this bag from <clears throat> from Hershner's for that December um, show and tell so I'm not going to show you what's in here till it gets closer to the end of the month but I can tell you one thing it's full <laughs> and I actually did add two items to this bag because it wasn't full so that is December show and tell on my Facebook pages monthly drawing prize now I I went ahead and ordered on Black Friday sorry for running out of the camera but I went ahead and ordered on Black Friday a couple things because they had like <clears throat> they had a couple specials and they had free shipping or something and so I ordered that mystery bag from Willow Yarns, and I ordered this mystery bag. Well, actually, I knew what was going to be in this one. And the other mystery bag was a, a grab bag. So let's have some fun and open up some of these grab bags. This one is called the Vintage Collection, so that's why I knew what was going to be in it. But um, I have not tried this yarn yet, and I wanted to um, get this bag because it was a good deal. I believe it was $14.99. You got the bag, the drawstring bag, and it's a canvas. And then you got one of each of these uh, vintage collection. So this vintage collection is uh, made up of oh well first of all it's a two ply it's called two ply Hershner's Afghan yarn it's a hundred percent acrylic some of you who watch Ross may have seen this this bag because he bought one uh, that's where I found out about it and I said I gotta buy one so you get every color you get marble gray it's 100% acrylic, if I didn't already say that. You get blue crystal. This one is called Silver Creek. Aren't they gorgeous colors? They're, they're just my colors. I like neutrals and bl blends like this. This one is called, oh no, this one's gorgeous. This one's called Romance. This one is called Heirloom. Of course. <laughs> this one is called Vintage. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. This one is called Victorian Lilac beautiful oh and they are soft too and this is the last one this one's called pennies pennies <laughs> so you get eight 
see how, how many of them I can pick up. <laughs> now, what I want to know is, this is a two-ply. So, I want you guys to go on a scavenger hunt and try to find me a, a wrap, um, a pattern for a wrap or a shawl that I can use every one of these colors so I'm sure it's gonna be a big one but it is two ply so you know it it won't be real heavy but it, it'll be colorful and then I will um, I will see which one whoever comes up with the pattern that I fall in love with and decide to use I will uh, I will um, have a special gift for that person uh, because I'll be thankful <laughs> so that was that bag and I'm gonna put that away just for a rainy day I won't be starting that pattern right away so you have plenty of time to let me know what you find out there on the internet so I appreciate the help with that Okay, and then I'm going to show you the other bag. This one was a grab bag. It was a wool one. You have your choice. You can get wool. I think you can get um, baby. Willow Yarns has a baby sack, a uh, wool sack, and maybe an acrylic. I can't remember all of them. They have quite a few. Um but I got the wool one and uh, I just want to show you what's in there so the first the first thing oh and my coffee tonight is uh, snickerdoodle yeah cinnamon snickerdoodle because I liked it so much last night I made it again tonight <laughs> mm. it's good it's good even when it's starting to get cold so the first thing in the grab bag from Willow Yarns was this, which is called Willow Wheels. Now, I am not a cake person unless it's subtle. Like this is too, this is too much color change for me. I I'm not into this. But some people really like this, and this is different due to that it is. 70% um, acrylic, 30% wool. Uh, let's see. The color is called Paisley. And there's two or three colors of green. That's almost a blue right there. A green. And then a lighter green. And then a gold and a rust. Now why isn't it telling me it's not telling me what the ply is, but look at it. That's really thin. I mean, it's thin. It's going to be a nice shawl. Nice wrap. Yeah. So, um, that is, there's only one of them in this grab bag. So then they, they sent four of these. Which is kind of cool because that means, you know, it's at least you get some enough to make something with. This one is called Willow Yarns Terra. Now I've had this before. T E R R A, Terra. This one is in the color crepe. I'm not sure if you're seeing that color, but it's a, a twisted pink and gray almost. So in my eyes, I'm seeing mauve. I'm seeing a mauve, but I'm also seeing a really nice shine. It's hard to get that color that I want to show you. But anyway, it's 82% acrylic and 18% wool. This is a three-ply. It's really beautiful. I have some of this. And that's a real, that's, to me, that's real uh, three-ply. Oh my gosh, is this soft. 
it it's unbelievable soft it's like a little rabbit in your hands I got four of them and they are oh hand wash yes they are wool and we're not gonna tell us oh here we go 122 yards in a skein um, 1.75 ounces so 122 I do yeah I think I have enough for a nice little shawl at something like that I'm a big shawl person as far as making them and selling them so that was that one and then they sent once <laughs> see once in a while they sent send more than one but this this one they only sent one this one is called Willow Blossom. And that's my beautiful mauve colors I like. It's got a heather look to it. It's pretty soft. Um, I didn't say really soft, but it's pretty darn soft. And it smells like wool, so let's see what it says. It has to be wool because I got the wool grab bag. <laughs> okay, so this one is 60% merino, 40% silk. Want to bet that's hand washed? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Made in Turkey, do not iron. Do not put in the dryer. And I only got one. But I believe I got this in two other colors in a different grab bag. So now I think I got four of them. They're just all different colors, so that ought to be a good idea to put those all those four colors together. Now this is fun. Okay, what is this? There's two of these. This one's called Willow Everest. And this is a maroon. Yep, that's maroon. Dark plum, it says. Hey, this one has a name and not just a number. <laughs> 1.75 ounces, 126 yards. 50% fine merino, 50% microfiber. Now, wicked soft. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of a smell of wool. But so soft, beautiful, just gorgeous. Interesting. Okay. The last one in here. Now I got something up my nose. Last one in here is a Hank. This one is called Willow, Willow Yarns Brook. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the colors. And let's see, we've got, oh, the color is not a number. It's called fuchsia. <laughs> yeah, I call everything that color fuchsia. Gorgeous. Okay, this one is 50% superwash wool, 50% acrylic. It is, not going to tell me, um, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 206 yards. Pretty little. Uh, Charlotte, I think, but uh, you might be able to get some more. Didn't say it was discontinued, I don't think, but this is pretty soft. It does smell like wool. I love working with the yarns that smell like wool, like that. I got some hobium. I think it is, or one of them, either the ice or the hobium that I have. I'll show you that some other day. But it's it's a uh, whip, and I'm about, I don't know, halfway done. And every time I open that project bag and the smell of the that specific wool, I'm like, oh, I love this. It smells so good in the bag, and it does. <laughs> I don't know why, but this one smells like that. It's really, really smells nice. So that one is all by itself. I'll have to think of something for that one. Okay, so that was the grab bag. 
and there was only one more thing in there that I had ordered and that it was on sale for I think a dollar a skein so I got five of them to make sure I had enough to make something I figured I'm already ordering I might as well order something you know something off the dollar bin so this one is five skeins of Soho fancy that this is the color it's a mix of blues it's really pretty this is 100% acrylic, so let's see, it's a three-ply, 1.75 ounces, 164 yards, and I got five of them. You can machine wash this. So I'm seeing baby sweater. That's what I'm seeing. It's really soft, really, really soft, just enough to come out with a sweater of some kind I don't know what pattern yet but that's what I'm seeing in there and the last thing I want to do before I say goodnight is tell you I've decided to put this skein of willow wheels into the December vlogmas giveaway at the end so this is going in the box so don't forget, jump over to the Facebook page because it's 24 hour. Uh, it's a 24 hour uh, um, <laughs> flash giveaway going on over there. <laughs> Honest to Pete, I saw something I didn't like over here. So that means my button started to come off. So I've got to go and tighten that down. I must not have. I don't know what I was doing, but I didn't tighten it down enough because it's it's loose. So I'm glad I saw it now so I can go do that after I, or while I'm uploading this video. So have a nice evening, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.